Never mind what I'm doing here, but welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's video where I have one thing to talk about first. It's snowing again, which is timely for this season. And for this time of year, it pretty much means that the snow disappears and we have green grass for a little bit, then we get a dumping of snow like this. But that also means that which most of you are probably pulling out your lawn mowers and servicing them and putting away the snow blowers and whatever else. You're, maybe you're pulling your bike out and getting cars ready. Which brings me to the first thing I'm going to talk about today, which is a real quick thing before we get into the meat and potatoes of the video. I recently signed up for a local businesses program. Amsoil is directly out of the Twin Ports. Amsoil's manufacturing headquarters is directly in Superior, Wisconsin. And this is a local business to me. So what I decided to do this year, because I'm gonna have so much stuff going on, is sign up for their dealer program because I'm gonna go through a ton of lubrication as far as engine oils and transmission and differential fluids and all the stuff goes. And at this point, it made sense for me to join the dealer program because it is a good way for me on the channel to bring in a little bit of money to help fundraise for the track. So I'll be exclusively using their products in the upcoming videos. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are already using their products out there, which is a good thing. If you've watched any of Project Farms videos or any independent testing, you'll find that pretty much unanimously, all the AMSOIL, motor oil specifically, comes out on top by kind of a large margin with cold flow testing bearing protection and things of that nature, so it actually is a superior product. The point of today's video is I'll be putting a Mighty Mouse catch can onto the Trans Am, and in the next video I'm gonna finish up the install on the Camaro, which I had a pretty big setback on, but, but nevertheless, any oil catch can is a good way for you guys to upgrade any combustion engine, I would say. What I wanted to do is give the second person that signs up for the Amsoil Preferred Customer Program, whether it's a six month deal for 10 bucks or a year deal for 20 bucks, I wanted to give the second person that signs up for it speed engineering catch can off of the Trans Am. I'll ship it out to you in the contiguous United States, free of charge. All you gotta do is sign up for it. Shoot me an email at greenlightproducers at gmail.com. Just say, hey, I signed up for it. A Little bit about yourself or whatever. And I'll send out the second person that signs up for it, that catch can for nothing. It works fine. Um, it's set up for an F body right now, but you can put it on pretty much anything you want. As long as you have a bracket or you can find a way to mount it yourself. So this is not a paid video or anything like that. I paid to be a dealer and um, if you guys sign up for the preferred customer program, you can get into it for six months at 10 bucks or a full year at 20 bucks. And what that does is it gives you free shipping on anything over hundred bucks, as well as up to 25% off of any order. So right off the bat, if you guys are doing a couple oil changes, you can pretty much eat up that little bit of money you'd want to pay up front and then some over time, especially if you got a whole mess of projects like I've got going on, especially out at the racetrack. If you want to know anything else about the program, shoot me an email again at greenlightproducers at gmail.com. That's all I got. I'm off of my sales pitch for you, and we are going to get into the rest of today's video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where I have two catch cans from Mighty Mouse Solutions. One is going to go on the Trans Am, and on this car, we'll be removing the EGR assembly and all that stuff and installing it because when I'm out drifting in this car or driving this car really hard, trying to keep your oil and air particulate, you really want to keep that stuff out of your intake manifold and ultimately your combustion chamber. So the goal of buying one of these is to prolong the life and uh, cleanliness overall of your engine. So in my experience, they seem to be worth it. The last video I did was on the C6 Z06, and I was super happy with the build quality and everything that Mighty Mouse offers. In my opinion, this is the go-to solution for all of your catch can needs or oil air separator needs, whatever you want to call it. So I guess that's about all I've got to say about that. This is going to be a pretty straightforward install. I'm going to be doing the breather cap style on the uh, Trans Am here. And some people commented, and it was actually well pointed out on the older video, that if you have a vent on top of this, it's actually going to create a vacuum leak, which would be true. But inside of Mighty Mouse's caps, if you listen to that, you might be able to see in there a little bit. See that? Under vacuum, it actually shuts, and it is a sealed system. But it does shut. It's a sealed system, just like it should be, just like that one sealed. And what I'm going to do is get to working on the Trans Am. This will be a pretty straightforward replacement because the EGR is already deleted. There's already a catch can on here. It's not going to be a real long install process. So that'll be pretty quick. But we're going to update the engine bay a little bit and have, I believe, to be a superior catch can system on here. And in all honesty, it just looks a lot better. So I'm a big fan of Mighty Mouse's stuff. If you want to, there will be part numbers in the description. 
The kit that I'm putting on the Camaro, on the other hand, is a sealed top system. So it'll be closed completely like this. So if you're on the fence about one or the other, you're going to get to see both in this video and see what the differences are and decide for yourself. So enough of me rambling on about this stuff. I'm going to start taking apart the Trans Am and we will get the new system installed in there real quick and show you what it looks like. So I'll show you real quick what's in the first kit. You have your oil air separator or catch can body, the breather cap, a whole bunch of push lock hose. I have a black anodized bracket to actually hold the can with the cylinder head bracket. And of course, no part you buy is worth its weight in sand without stickers. And uh, you do get a couple of push lock barbed fittings on here. So I'm going to follow the instructions on this. The exit side, which goes to the manifold behind the throttle body, has the red cap. And the open cap here, if you were to be able to look in with me, you can see the uh, steel filtering material that actually captures and suspends the oil. So instructions on this will be pretty straightforward. Um, there's really not much to do on this one. It's pretty much going to replace what's already there. So this should be a pretty quick install. I just wanted to show you guys what comes in the kit before I start ripping through this whole thing, but this should be pretty straightforward. Pretty complete kit. Uh, the price is good on them. I'm happy with it. And to me, this is a no-brainer on stuff that you're going to be putting a lot of miles on. And frankly, I should really think about putting one of these on my Silverado because I drive that thing the most and it's an LS-based engine like everything else I've got in the fleet. So that's what's in the kit. I'm going to get to the install. All right, so it took me a minute to figure it out. I haven't done this before, but there is actually another breather on the driver's side. So this little cap goes on the one in the very back. I took the hose assembly off. The plastic kind of broke, but there's actually two hoses. So I was like, I don't know where it goes, but this one goes back farther. All right guys, so I'm done installing the Mighty Mouse mild setup on the Trans Am here. I got my cap on, everything all snug down, tightened up, secured. I do have a little bit of wiring I'm gonna clean up that's kind of just hanging out here now and it's not real well done, but it's just stuff that I'm finding as I go further into the car from prior owners and whatnot. So anyways, this is all done and this system actually replaces the entire PCV system on the car, whether it's an LS1 or LS6 style setup. Uh, it actually comes with enough hose to run all the way back around to the other side on the driver's side and connect to a breather which is supplied for a one-way ball check valve. So that's supplied. There's enough hose to get to each push lock fitting. And the way that the diagram shows this is that the factory, the factory PCV fitting here on the valve cutter, on the valve cover goes up to the throttle body and down the behind the intake manifold. That's what actually runs to the clean side of the oil air separator. So this is done. I have a completely sealed system now. I was actually kind of surprised that the hose fitting on the factory PCV setup was really loose and there was for sure a vacuum leak there. I'd wonder if I had a couple of them going on here and there and that might have been part of the really bad surging problem that this thing would have once in a while. You know, it would really just try and die out of the stop sign. It, it did act like a vacuum leak, which actually leads me to believe that it might even run better now. So everything's all done here and snugged up. I've got my little oil drain ball deal on the bottom all tightened up. So we're not going to be leaking anything anywhere. All in all, this took me, you know, maybe an hour and a half to do this, but I was doing kind of a tedious job trying to uh, run things nicely. I'll figure out a way to secure the hoses a little bit better and I've got some vacuuming and cleaning to do and stuff like that. But otherwise, this is pretty much a finished product, which means I'm gonna get over to the drift car and start working on the Mighty Mouse sealed system. All right, so now that we're all done with the oil air separator catch can install on the car, I'm gonna go pick up a set of the factory correct wheels for this car. And you'll see right here, QF6 is the RPO code for the wheels I'm gonna go pick up. 
When I got the car a few years ago, it actually had no wheels with it other than the torque thrusts that uh, the prior owner had installed. The factory wheels were long gone. A buddy of mine found a really clean set down in the Minneapolis St. Paul area. So once again, I'm gonna go for a quick drive. I'm gonna pick up a set of the factory WS6 wheels for this car just to have them with the car. They are the exact ones that would have came out from the factory. So it's gonna be a good thing to have with this car, especially going into the future as prices on these continue to go up. Having the factory correct parts, you know, like the factory her shifter, the wheels, etc., is gonna be worth more than I'm paying for it. So we'll up in the truck. We got a couple hour drive ahead of us and uh, hopefully everything goes smooth and we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we are back from our trip, which is actually a lot longer than it was supposed to be. And I do have a set of 17 inch WS6 wheels. So these are the correct wheel and they're a factory wheel. The clear coat is really coming off on them all over. So they've really got to be refinished, but the price reflected that. Everything's got the GM stamping on there and the tires are pretty much like new. So as far as having something on hand that is the correct replacement or the correct factory wheel for the Trans Am is awesome. These do have the correct center caps. Base cars had a 16 inch wheel and the caps are not interchangeable. So you'll see them with ABS on them, which I actually thought came on this car. But after doing a little bit of homework, it turns out that these QF6 polished aluminum and clear coated wheels are correct. So these are not chrome, these are not Speedline wheels, which would come on a 2001, well late 2001 into 2002 car, which also look a little bit different. So these are for sure the correct wheel for this car. Super happy, I was looking for a really long time and I can't thank Brody enough for shooting me a message. Like not only a week ago from filming this, I was talking to him about it and he asked if I had the stock wheels and I said no and I've been looking for them and I just haven't seen a set. So I really think over time with these WS6 cars, although they're very common, you know, not quite like a Firehawk, but they're going to be very collectible. Uh, they keep going up every year in price and I think justifiably so. Having the correct wheels is going to add a lot of value in the long run and these are just going to keep getting harder and harder to find. Well, there you have it. Here's the installation of the catch can on the Trans Am. I am going to, in the next video, go over the Camaro next to it. There's some stuff that went wrong. I broke off a uh, part of the intake manifold and hopefully I've got a uh, pretty down and dirty solution to fix it without pulling the intake manifold or replacing it. If it doesn't hold or fails in the future, I will be replacing the intake manifold. And as many of you know, I've got an LS6 manifold over on the shelf, but regardless, all things considered, this is a really elegant way to actually get an oil air separator or catch can into your vehicle. I think the Mighty Mouse stuff is the best stuff on the market. It's not the cheapest, but I think it's the best looking and everything's very high quality on it. So I'm a huge fan of this stuff. Whoever signs up with the preferred customer program second after uploading this video will get the speed engineering. If anybody's interested in that for their vehicle, there's a great chance for you guys to get one for pretty much no cost or relatively little cost. You just got to sign up. It's like 10 bucks. That'll give you a really good chance of winning. So anyways, that's about all I got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys come back for more content. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on with the Camaro over here as we're going to be drifting with it and putting all the driveline through the ringer. So that's why I wanted to pick out the most amount of protection I could for this vehicle because it's really going to need it this summer. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That's all I got and I will see you guys in the next one.